terms of reality. Well, I'm here to help. Glad to have been of assistance. You're back. Good. What more lessons in basic reality? My favorite. Good idea. Just ask him. He won't make a scene. Fine. See? What can he do? You're a grown man. Are you sure you're sure? Your colleague seemed adamant. Okay. The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the Islas. It is the inter-Islary mass. Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter, enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation, or landmass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Mundi, Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this in Silinde. An oceanic isola. It comprises mostly of water. Muindi is the largest. Katla, the coldest. Insulinde, the bluest. What can I say? Each is perishing and dear. Achromatic, odorless, featureless. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. It is not like any other or anything in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothingness. No, detective. We're safe. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isola. As your gaze instinctively turns north, a small black pit opens up in your stomach. Yes. That is enough. Many cities are built much closer. An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale. Rolling. Evaporating even. A great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called porch collapse. Imagine a grey coronal mist. Cold vapor marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism. A mold that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's uh, the most disco thing you will ever see. It's difficult to describe or even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical, epistemological, linguistic. The further into pale you travel, the steeper the degree of suspension, right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. It may be impossible. Oh, it is so difficult for us. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude, bouncing radio waves from one end to the other, shortening the path. But it is still hard for humans to navigate the Pale without getting lost. Or having our minds damaged. Extensively. Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that Pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading. That it's rarefied past, not rarefied matter. They call it the blend over of the self. The Pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology. Maybe history, even. The human mind becomes over-radiated by past. It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of Pale exposure per year. It's more for her. Way more. No nameless detective of the citizen's militia. I am a member of the Entrepreneurtic Business Class. I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. Perhaps that explains a strange pining after the revolution. Some degraded early memories. Up to my gills, officer. Entrepreneurtics. 
is the scientific study of the Pale, or a recent iteration of it by way of Grad. The study of the Pale reaches back 6,000 years. The Periconarsians called it the Western Plain. There are signs of pre-modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. Nothing. We remain powerless before the Pale. The only real advance in Pale Transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less... effects later. Hybrid airships, Detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity after the point of reference for motion is suspended. Once you've crossed from near Pale to far Pale. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we throw them precisely, then they don't. Gone, like a skipping stone beneath the surface. The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is more pale than there is matter, and the ratio is slipping. What do you think, Detective? Precisely. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. An intuitive conclusion of that development is that one day the Pale will cover everything. But this sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. Most people, and indeed most private and government sector organizations, entire civilizations and religions even, find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. I suggest you do the same. Yes, sweet reality. But before we do, tell me, Detective, is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? Then tell me, what do you think of the Pale? Mm-hmm. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, Detective. If you don't know even this, then... I hope so. I truly do. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile... Some of that assurance is meant for herself, as much as it's meant for you. She must have a lot on the line here. You have me. I will assist you in any way I can, even if we have to do it one basic term at a time. Good. You have not passed out from it. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we... Yes, well, the rest of us have dealt with it for thousands of years, so... You will have to do...